my name is Jay Kerr, and I'm the senior class president. To all the administration, faculty and staff, friends, family, and most importantly, the 530 students, soon to be 531, once Quinn Beckler finally shows up. Welcome to the class of 2016 graduation. Congratulations, we made it. Of course, we would not have been able to survive these last 12 years without the help of many people in our community. First, I'd like to thank our friends and teammates, especially the group chat boys. There you go. I'd like to thank our coaches for all of their commitment. I know we all appreciate our teachers who have shown up to school at 7.50 every morning ready to teach, even if we were still in bed until 8, sometimes 8.30. And lastly, I'd like to thank our families, our parents and our siblings for showing up to every event of ours. Even if our elementary school reporter concerts may have sounded like a group of benign chipmunks. <laughs> Throughout high school, we all have learned life lessons that will stick with us forever. There is one lesson that I've learned that's played a major role in shaping who I am. And I did, like, I'd like to share this with you today. This lesson is one that Mrs. Bell, my chemistry teacher, coined as, you do you. This lesson came during my freshman year at Saratoga. As a freshman, I think a lot of us made a conscious decision to fly under the radar for at least the first month or two. One October afternoon, something caught my eye. There is this kid, around my age, with the brightest, fiery red hair, outside the school, just sporadically dancing to so only the music in his headphones. All I could think was, oh boy, what is this kid doing? I mean, coming from a fellow redhead, I want to run out there and save him. Because you know, us redheads need to stick together. But instead, I decided to lay low and forget about it. But then, something amazing happened. As I was leaving school one day, I looked outside, only to see this kid, this brave soul, still jamming away in a world of his own. But this time, there was something different. This time, there were no kids watching him. It was just him, dancing, doing something he loved to do. And I witnessed this go on for quite some time. And I began to notice that the other students were not faced by it anymore. Other students began to recognize him in the hallways, even tossing him a casual high five when they saw him dancing. This student, one of the bravest people I know, beat the system with social conformity in high school, and he was only a freshman. So Kai Mossman graduated with us today. Thank you.